CNBC TV 18 and HUL present Live Season 3, the only challenge that gives you real business case studies on a national level. Get ready to meet the next generation of leaders at these times, only on CNBC TV 18. Presented by Hindu Islam Unilever Limited. Supported by Forbes. <laughs> Very Purani traffic jams. This is why I have made a diesel car. And boy, was I surprised. Easy steering zips up. Traffic jams are going to be there, but not for me. Chevrolet Beat Diesel Key IntelliDrive Technology is with India Drive. Son, you're coming to see the girls tonight. But mom, my mother and daughter, you should be instant digital. So, let's see. Let's see the Sadharan Cream Asar in 5 days. But you can get a Bajaj CFL in just 1 second. Kamal Ka Ujla Pan. Bajaj CFL. It's a good question. Be what you want to be. Music CDs. The story of Shashi Kiran Shetty is a classic one. This young man from Karnataka was forced to take the train to Mumbai because of the financial crisis in the family. He landed a job in a logistics firm, but he had this dying ambition to become an agent of an international logistics firm. Lady Luck, I would say, was more than benevolent, and Shetty went on to acquire the same international firm of which he was the agent. Veena Krishna caught up with this dapper 54-year-old man in his plush Mumbai office to find out what makes him tick? Okay, Mr. Shetty, Mr. Ipil, thank you for joining us. Mr. Shetty, if I can begin with, if that one big global acquisition, Equiline, did not happen in 2006, would success have been different? Would it have taken for you longer to reach where you are today? Equiline acquisition has been a big event in our uh, organization, in my life personally. You know, this acquisition has given us tremendous recognition and success to the all cargo company. Yes, so success has been a bit faster because of yeah, that. Would you say? I, I believe in that. So, so what were the initial challenges to integrate yeah. Acu into Al Cargo? There are many things that one need to keep in mind uh, while integrating a company which you are acquired. Is first of all to realize what is the culture of that organization and uh, put in the right kind of a strategy to meet the culture of the acquirer and the company that you acquired. On top of that, uh, you know, have a very good structure. Think about very deeply about the structure, uh, who's going to do what, and allow the management to function independently by having confidence in their abilities and uh, try to add value wherever we can without interfering and without being petty about, you know, certain things. So this is what uh, we learned very early. Um, and you know the general uh, business uh, sense in terms of how to manage your costs better, uh, what are what are the uh, challenges that uh, you you have, uh, and what are the issues that you have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, which doesn't change. Uh, no matter where you do business. Okay, Mr. Shetty, you've always believed in the inorganic way of growth. Why is that? I believe that uh, you know buying at a reasonable value is better than building, which takes that much longer. Uh, and it, it creates a sh shareholder value uh, and keep our people challenged. As a future to meet our growth aspiration, 
we need to acquire companies than building uh, the businesses, particularly in our logistic industry, which takes a long time to build a business. Okay, Mr. Upar, what gave HSBC the confidence to associate with All Cargo? I guess when we looked at All Cargo, one thing which attracted us straight away was the sector it is in. The logistics sector, both globally and within India, is growing tremendously. The second was uh, All Cargo's business model itself, we like. It's a very end to end driven model. As we spoke about, less than container, so it kind of worked out a good gap in the market in which it kind of uh, focused upon. We also like the fact that it's kind of gone and done, has worked cross-border. So it's not just an India play, but it's also can work and has worked really well on the world market. And lastly, uh, I would say the confidence in the management of the company, led uh, by Mr. Shetty as the promoter, been very hands-on, good understanding of the market, and the vintage also helped. So those are the factors which attracted us to El Cargo. In the logistics sector, what are the three or four areas that you need to pay attention to? Your customer it has to be top of your mind. Uh, the customer loyalty doesn't come in any other form other than serving the customer again and again and again and again uh, to the needs of his uh, requirements. Second important thing is you, your people, uh, which is very important because end of the day I cannot be everywhere. It is my people who have to deliver those uh, customer requirements. And third part obviously is the capital, uh, your finance. I feel in any business uh, 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 a good finance management is very important. And last but not the least is also to have a good IT strategy for, for your organization. Because these days uh, every customer wants to know where his shipment is at any given time. Uh, he need to know what's going on, you know, what are the charges, uh, you know, all these things are not possible to be managed in a global scale uh, or a national scale even without having the right kind of a system in place. Okay, now you were telling me that, you know, when we look at the growth of your company, you know, one should not look at the revenues but more at the bottom line. And uh, when you acquire Accu, the operating margin was 1%, you have now moved it to around 6%. So what is it that you keep focusing on to improve your margin year on year? Starting from when we acquired the company, there were a lot of non-strategic business the company was involved in. So. It was an easy decision for us, but it was an expensive decision. We had to make that bold decision to get rid of all those activities where we were not required to be there. So we made that investment to, uh, to uh, get out of those businesses. Secondly, some of the countries were not doing very well, uh, although the markets were quite substantial, like for example Germany. Our market share is very, very small. So we had to hire a whole lot of new management. Now we are one of the leading operators also in the German market. Then uh, with the various other initiatives, your day-to-day -day business initiatives, we try to improve the, uh, the uh, volume uh, on a base, cost base, which is already there. So when you add additional business for the same cost base, you, you immediately see the benefit of uh, your vol margins improving. And uh, third, the other most important thing is try to do a global negotiation on our ocean freight buying on various other vendor managements, uh, vendor contracts renegotiated, our insurance costs, our warehousing costs, our local transportation costs, all those were looked at very closely. Uh, again, a process of hiring better quality people, sometimes you know, you unfortunately have to let go some people, etc. So there are multiple efforts uh, that has been uh, responsible for a uh, good margin improvement. I'm not still satisfied, there's still work to be done. So how far to go from 6% to? Hopefully to 10%, but by, uh, that will be very difficult. <laughs> Maybe another three years, four years. HSBC has played a major role in helping, uh, you know, Alka go in the equipment rental business. So take us through that. So a bank like HSBC, we've been working with the company for the last couple of years, uh, really came in handy. One is from a fact that Clearly, when you, know, you acquire a multinational business, which is then 65 countries, then you also need a business partner who's there in those many countries to kind of assist you where help is required. And the second part is that uh, All Cargo also, through this process, also started trading because it had to import a lot of this equipment, which then had to be leased out. Now, again, being one of the largest uh, trade banks in the world, we could assist with structures which ensure that the trade could be done in a manner that 
as far as all cargo was there, it got the equipment. As far as the supply is concerned, the supplier got the money. But we could structure funding on the back of it, which was in the currency which all cargo preferred. So the, through the structure, on a fifth, without taking risk, because we were able to hedge the risk also for the company, we provided, you could say, low-cost solutions. Okay, uh, Mr. Shetty, how do you define success? In business, the success is, uh, first of all, creating shareholder value. The uh, second is uh, creating employment and giving growth to your employees. And third thing is, you know, serving the country in terms of reducing your transaction cost or product cost, uh, facilitating your country to grow in, in its business. I think that's what I would call success. Okay. And what inspired you to become an entrepreneur? I think in my case, uh, I was in a state where I had to do uh, something about my financial condition. So I got into this by I think, uh, by force. Uh, first, not by anybody else, by myself. And the uh, second thing is, uh, uh, you know, my family uh, was from a background, from a business background. So I guess there is some some gene in me uh, <laughs> to be a businessman. And uh, you know, and and also, you know, my father used to be a very uh, active social uh, person. Uh, you know, serving the uh, serving the needy uh, by being one of the old congressmen. Uh, of high value, so uh, probably you know that's uh, to some extent inculcated that value system in me. Okay, and uh, you know every uh, CEO, you know, uh, I mean, uh, as as we hear, faces the problem of succession, making a succession plan. Hmm. So, do you do you also face the same problem? No, absolutely. You know, I think uh, f first of all, as you grow the company, you professionalize your organization, you automatically create. Uh, succession uh, in your organization. Uh, I may not have point a finger at X or Y would be, but I know that there are two, three people who among them I can always pick up and uh, make them to succeed uh, my position if required. Uh, and obviously in Indian families you always would like uh, the business to be carried on by the family members and uh, depending on my son uh, uh, his interest and uh, his uh, capability to run our organization. I, I hope and wish that he would take over one day, uh, or my daughter could be. Uh, what does it take to make it big in the world of business? I think a, an ambition, commitment, courage, passion, people management, and financial, uh, may not be financial acumen because you know I'm not a compet everybody may not be qualified uh, financial experts, but at least have that understanding that financial management is very important. So thank you, Mr. Shetty. Thank you, Mr. Upar, for joining us. Thank you. Well, it's a very impressive story, I would say. Shashi Kiran Shetty is a fast learner who has combined gut instinct and domain knowledge to make a mark in the logistics industry. These are the mantras that he adopted to build all cargo. One, use the buy route instead of the build route to grow your business. Two, never lose focus of your customer. All your vision, mission statement should be centered around the customer. Three, motivate and empower people. Only then an organization will grow. Micromanagement is a big no-no. Four, creating shareholders value will make you the darling of stock market and bankers. Five, keep constantly looking at your financials. And finally, you need to create an environment to stoke ambition, commitment, courage and passion among your employees. Well, those are the mantras that has worked like magic for Shashi Kiran Shetty. You could perhaps use some of those mantras in your own business. On that positive note, it is time to say goodbye. We will be back next week with another success story. Till then, keep watching CNBC TV. Team. HSBC Commercial Banking. Police ko phone lagaya. Laga. Mis kaldiya. Karenge wapas. Ab bundas call kar. Raat bhar. Hotel kar.